Hi everybody, this is Karim Backwards and today I'm going to show you how to permanently and completely disable the Windows Defender in Windows 11 and in Windows 10, so let's check it out. Welcome to Karim Backwards channel. But at first, why would you do it? So let's explain how any antivirus or even the Windows Defender works. It actually scans any file you are going to open on your computer. It doesn't actually matter if you are going to copy it or run it or execute it. Uh, it just scans everything you are going to open for searching for any potential threat. It means that it takes some uh, CPU time. so. Uh, you have more processes on the background uh, on the windows which leads to higher consumption of battery on your notebook uh, so sometimes you just don't uh, need it in some cases it could block or delete a file which is not even a threat just because it was a false alarm so let's find out how to completely kill it forever well at first you have to turn it off the usual way first of all i want to show you on which version this all has been tested and proved as working so my version of windows is 22h2 windows 11 but all i will show you today should be working on windows 10 also so first thing you have to do is turn off uh, the uh, defender by the usual official way click here on start and type security click on the windows security app and here you have virus and threat protection now just i will show you what are we going to do is manage settings here and as you can see i already have a disabled i will show you how to do this so uh, first of all, you have to turn all these switches to off, including the temper protection. So these four switches have to be turned off. It's here. That's the step one, which is really necessary. Step two is we are going to change politics in Windows. How to do that? Again, click start and uh, type in policy. It will find out edit group policy just click on it and you will see this window uh, i will make it a little bit bigger and now all you have to do is set uh, some settings here to disabled or enabled so let's start it up you have to go to computer configuration and administrative templates double click on it now move on to windows components double click and now here scroll down and you will see the microsoft defender antivirus double click and i will maximize this window here you see this settings and these folders with another settings uh, for now I will sort them alphabetically so it will be for you uh, find every settings I will show you just right now so click here and it will be sorted uh, alphabetically A C D E and so on so you should do it the same way and now uh, you will probably see everywhere not configured on every uh, every uh, each setting so there are some they have to be uh, set up into different state like this one so the first one we have to change manually is the allow anti malware service to remain running always if you double click on it choose the disabled then apply and okay the same thing has to be done here in allow anti malware service to start with normal priority okay here configure detection for potential unwanted applications and here turn off microsoft defender antivirus yes this has to be enabled because you are enabling the disabling of it you know so apply okay 
Last one here is turn off routine remediation, which again you are enabling the turning off. So actually, if you are choosing enabled, so you are going to turn it off. It's a little bit tricky, but this is not enough. So let's move to real time protection. And again, you have to disable some of these. I will sort them again alphabetically and you need to turn this off, monitor file, set it to disabled, scan all downloaded files, disabled, turn off real-time protection, this is really important, set it to enabled, and turn on behavior monitoring, uh, disabled, you do not want to uh, scan any behavior monitoring. Go back and last folder you have to take a look in is security intelligence updates. Double click on it again and again I will resort it alphabetically and what you have to turn off is a low real-time security intelligence updates. Uh, then this one and the other two. So this is here as you can see here six uh, rows you have to change to disable it. Uh, this is very important because for example uh, this will not allow you to run the Defender automatically after several days after some updates will come. We are going to disable it together with the restarting of the whole Defender. Uh, at this time you are going you are done. You can close anything and restart your computer. After you will boot up, you should see something like, and you go here to Defender again, sorry, to, to Security. So if you will click here and here, you should see here this red text. This setting is managed by your administrator. I still wouldn't reactivate this temper protection after all because this protection covers even the changing of the settings we have just made. So if we are going to turn this on, we are going probably to lose some settings uh, which we made a few moments ago and it will re-enable the Defender again. This is not what we want. But the method uh, uh, you have seen just right now works for me for more than one month. So uh, I think uh, you uh, you will be satisfied too. Uh, because I've seen many guides on the internet, but uh, none of them was working properly. So the Defender has been reactivated uh, or it has been deactivated only until the next restart of computer uh, or it has been silently re-enabled after several days and several restarts. So uh, this is the only way how to really permanently turn it off in Windows 11 and in Windows 10. Uh, just please beware, it's, uh, you should do this only if you know what you are doing. For example, I am using Windows without any antiviruses, uh, even with the Windows Defender disabled for several years and I'm fine. Nobody stole me anything, nobody hacked me anything uh, and my computers are running fine, are running faster, they keep um, more time on battery, so uh, I'm absolutely satisfied with Defender turns on, but uh, all, all I always have enabled it in case of any security issue is Windows Firewall. Uh, so uh, if you are able to recognize the threats or phishing or other traps of the internet by yourself or if your computer is not even connected to the internet at all, just be my guest. Do as I, what I have done before. Uh, this guide is for you. But if you are an experienced user, do this all on your own risk. Okay, that's all for today. Please click on the subscribe button and for the bell, uh, just to meet my other videos which are coming uh, in case of Windows tips and tricks and other IT stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Welcome to Karen Backwards Channel.